In the high desert of eastern Oregon, water is scarce, but many people need more of it in this arid landscape, and that's caused tension over the years. Water is essential to farmers' livelihoods. Being able to have the ability to have a secure water source throughout the year means that we have a future. And water is the beginning of life for salmon. If the water's not there, who cares what else you have? We're really trying to address one of the root causes of tributary malfunction in the fish life cycle. Over time, the Umatilla Basin has been depleted of water that flows into the Columbia River. Aquifers have dropped 500 feet since the 1970s, and the growing basin needs more. It's really hard for people to look at this river and say, just let us get to the river. And you know, for 20 some odd years, people have been staring at this thing saying we can fix our problems. And you know, but what people can't see is the fish in the water that need that water as well. There's a lot of people with a lot of interest on, on that river. That's why farmers and environmentalists are developing a plan to recharge the Umatilla Aquifer. This plan would provide more irrigation water for farmers. It would also put more water in tributaries for fish. The plan would look something like this. Pumps would draw water from the Columbia River in the winter. That's when fish don't need it. The water would travel six miles, piggybacking off the Boardman Tree Farm's irrigation system. It would fill a small pool near the tree farm. This winter, the pool is dry. From there, water would seep into the ground to be stored in the aquifer. Mother Nature built this reservoir. We didn't, and she built it in an area that people now have a living on. We're trying to actually get better use out of Mother Nature's reservoir. But it won't happen all that quickly. The Confederated Tribes of the Umatilla Indian Reservation still need to work out a water rights settlement, and officials need to decide exactly how the plan will play out. But farmers say new water in the Umatilla Basin will have a huge economic impact on the state. This field shows the difference between an irrigated crop, blueberries, and dry land wheat. That adds up to thousands of dollars more each year in high-value crop production. But to keep the area's economy and agriculture growing, farmers say they need to make better use of water. That way, these fields will be around for generations to come. We need to take a look at sustainability and to find a way to make what we have here better than when we found it. One way farmers are accomplishing that is by working with conservationists. The plan would create more habitat for fish in trickling tributaries. We don't have a water supply problem. We have a water management problem. And all the water that we're ever going to get is, is here. <laughs> So it's really about what do we do with the water that we get, when we get it, and how we get it. Officials are hopeful that this project could become a model statewide. But first, the Oregon legislature has to approve it. Bills to draw water from the Columbia River have been tried before. They haven't passed. But back in eastern Oregon, farmers and environmentalists are optimistic this plan will work out. I mean, we can get the job done, it just takes some creative thinking and takes some risk.